All right, so we've learned about how to use Google Scholar to find out if you've got a given article that you found, which other articles have cited it. The opposite of that is looking at um, the reference list in a journal article and seeing what it has cited. Because sometimes the articles that you'll find there, you didn't see them in Google Scholar or in PsycInfo or in one of the open access journal websites, but they can actually still be really good. So this is a printout of a section of a reference list from one of the journal articles we looked at already. And in order to find out whether you can access these papers or not, you need to understand what the different components are. So we're going to look at a couple of these. Let's look at this one here that starts with King. Whenever you look at a reference list, you're always going to see a few things. They're always going to start with, or almost always going to start with, the authors of the article that they were citing. So in this case, we've got three of them, and their last names are King, Del Fabro, and Griffiths. So that's the author information. The next piece of information that you're going to see is what year it was published. This is always worth thinking about, just because if you've got a paper that you're looking at and you're looking through the reference list to link out to the other citations that they've, that they've looked at, and it's from like 1950, that may or may not be useful to you. If it's more recent, it might be. It's always up to, to your instructor to help you determine that. All right, so after you've got the author's names and then the year, there's going to be a section, the next piece is the article title. So this is the name of the actual study. In this case, it's called Video Game Structural Characteristics, A New Psychological Taxonomy. So that's the name of the article itself. Now, the next part, the part that's going to be usually in italics, is the section that is the actual title of the journal itself. So this is not the title of the article, it's the title of the journal that it came from. And in this case, it's the International Journal of Mental Health and Addiction. That color is a bit too dark for that, but nonetheless, we'll look at another one. Um, it's going to be in italics, and it's the name of the journal. So the article comes first, then the journal. As we talked about before, within a given year, there might be like multiple, multiple issues of a journal published. And that information comes next. So let's say that these three were all published in 2010, and this was I issue number two. This is issue number three, and this is issue number four. All of the ones that were published in the same year will have the same volume number. So let's say that this is the eighth year that the Journal of Psychology has been published. These would all be volume eight, and they would be issue one, issue two, issue three, and issue four. This becomes important later when we actually try to search for these in the library. So in this example, the number that's right here, which is also in italics, just like the name of the journal, is the volume number. And sometimes they don't bother putting which issue it was from. Um, in this case, they didn't. But you can still see what volume it was from. And then the next piece is going to be what page numbers it is. So in this case, pages 90 to 106. Finally, the last piece of information is the DOI. DOI is um, an abbreviation, and it stands for Digital Object Identifier. In order to find this paper in the library, you don't actually need the DOI. But if you wanted to go out on the web and get more information about this article, like maybe you wanted to read its abstract, you could go to this link with its DOI and you could get that information. So I think the most important things to remember here are for when we actually go ahead and try to search for any of the citations or the references, sorry, that you found in a paper is understanding what the different pieces are. So we've got always the authors first, then the year it was published, the title of the study itself, then the title of the journal it came from, always in italics, the title of, sorry, not the title, the number, the volume number that it was, and what page numbers it was. Finally, the DOI. What we're going to do next 
is go into the library and I'll show you how to use this information to see if we actually have the paper or not or if you have to order it through interlibrary loan.